Welcome to Beer Stories. This video is all about how you clean your all-in-one brew system. Um, and it's actually pretty easy. But uh, first of all, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook through these usernames. And if you like the video, please click like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get the newest videos in your YouTube feed. And you'll make me very happy um, as well. So yeah, after a brew day, you have to clean all your equipment and that and that sucks but but you have to do it <laughs> um but it's actually not that hard um my kettle and everything i just clean it with hot water because basically what this is is it's sugar water and malt residues and you can clean most of them just with a soft brush um places like these and yeah um Use a soft brush or a sponge, the soft side of a sponge, and that's it. Um, also, my hop spider and everything, I just clean it with a brush. Don't use soap. Soap has uh, ten sides. The, these molecules that uh, will actually ruin your uh, your head on your beer. So the head retention is will get really bad. So soap anywhere near anything that has to do with brewing is a very, very bad idea. Use hot water, use a, a brush, a soft brush, and then just clean everything up with that. If you want something uh, more efficient, um, you should use a, a PBW or, or whatever, something that's uh, meant for, for the brewing industry or, or, or food. In general um, yeah and, and that's basically it I clean everything with a brush and hot water and then uh, I do a boil well not a, not a real boil it's uh, just an 80 degrees uh, I fill this half up my brew system half up with water uh, and set the degrees to 80 degrees um, and then let it run there for 10 minutes with the pump on just to get everything out of everywhere. And then it's actually almost sterile and, uh, and it's clean. But uh, I just made a, a, a very heavy stout uh, with an OG and 1100. Um, and I boiled that for two hours. So this uh, thick syrup wort, <laughs> I boiled it for two hours because I wanted all these Maillard reactions to give it a complex body and I wanted a very sh shelf stable beer that I can that I can uh, yeah drink the next 10 years uh, and save it for, for many years. Um, so uh, I did that on purpose knowing that I would probably get a lot of burnt residue in the bottom and that can be tricky. Uh, of course I've had that before and I tried everything like soda is a very uh, basic uh, yeah, cleaning product. Um, watch out for your fingers if you use something like this. Uh, there's no soap in it, but it's uh, very basic. So it should actually um, dissolve all these burnt residues. I also use it to clean uh, pots when I burn something in the kitchen or my, my grill. Um, but that doesn't do anything to this. And I don't know actually why that is. Um, but citric acid, I discovered this uh, a while ago and this does the trick. You just spray a little on top of it and then lay some a paper towel and make it wet and let it sit overnight and then most often you can just wipe it off or just uh, scrape it off with, a, yeah, with your fingers. Um, so yeah, that's really a lifesaver. Um, so yeah, try that out. And why this works, I really don't know. Maybe it's because of the minerals and the yeah that it actually gets stuck to the to the to the caramel and the sugars, uh, and 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 that would get stuck in the bottom. Because this is an acid, and that would actually dissolve the minerals uh, or the calcium. Uh, that's that might be that might burn into the sugars. I don't know. But, uh, but it works. It loosens up the, the burnt residues and you can actually yeah, easily 
wipe it off or scrape it off. But remember, don't use any uh, hard uh, cleaning uh, equipment. Use a soft brush or the soft side of a sponge so that you don't uh, scratch up your, yeah, your kettle. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, if you like the video, please click like and please subscribe to my channel. That would make me very, very happy. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, just write them in the comments or through Instagram and Facebook or beerstories.dk. Write to me and I'll answer you. Um, yeah, other than that, just uh, have a happy brewing out there.